So I watched Halloween Ends tonight, and I must say, it was actually better than the other movie before this one. Um, and this is the last movie of the Halloween Halloween series. I would say that they did a better job on this movie compared to previous movies, um, which is sad to me. Um, or not sad, but it's just some movies were just not that good. You know what I mean? Like honestly, I think the very first one's probably the best. You know. Um, but to be honest with you, I actually kind of like this last one. I liked the conclusion. I liked the story. There was some things that I thought was a little cheesy, but I get it, you know? And it's the end of the show. I honestly wish Corey became a good guy. I'm not going to lie to you. I wish, like... I mean, he kind of did. It was so weird. So, spoilers, obviously. Um, I mean, it kind of already did that. But, basically, he ends up doing this with a knife, right? And can't really say what, you know, the word is. But uh, he does that. And all of a sudden, he's not hes not unalive. He's still there and alive and fine. You know, some, I mean, not actually fine, but you know. And then when Michael comes up and shows up, he tries helping them, which just felt a little off and didn't really make a lot of sense to me, to be honest with you. But, okay, all right, that's, that's okay. But, in general, I had hoped Corey would have, became the good guy i won't lie i had hoped that he would have just i don't know like i understand him killing certain people in the show i'm not gonna lie some people i mean for example the kids that literally killed him i feel like they i mean maybe not every one of those kids deserved it but honestly I ain't gonna say it, but when somebody kills somebody, right? Let's say it's a loved one. What do you, like, you know the pain and the grief you go through? Think about that, but think about it as if you died and you're like a ghost or something. You're probably gonna haunt them, right? Like, it, you know, if ghosts exist, you're probably gonna haunt them, right? It's kind of the same thing. If you ended up surviving, but you, somebody attempted to, you know, I feel like you would probably want revenge. And I'm going to be honest, if if that's all he did, I'd have been fine with it. I mean, also in the beginning, his first person that he's ever like killed on purpose, I mean, was more because it was self-defense, to be honest. But, yeah, I mean, it's okay. But definitely is something that's kind of strange to me because they missed out on a lot, I feel like, with Corey. I feel like they could have made his character definitely become the big good guy. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I understand that what he did was bad. I, I understand, and I'm not, like, saying that's, you know, bad action or good actions or anything like that. No, I'm not saying that. But at the same time, there are certain people, specifically the kids, that literally threw him off a bridge. I Is it just me, or d do I not blame him for that? You know what I mean? Like, they kind of did it to him. I, I, I don't blame him for it. I actually would forgive him. Like, if that shit happened to IRL, I would forgive him. Even though, yes, I still think it's a terrible thing to do, I'd still forgive him because that's forgiveness. And, uh, well, I'm in, you know, I believe in change, and I believe that people could be good people, you know. Um, you know, or at least if you are good. You know, if, if you don't believe in change, then you're never going to see change. The world's not going to change. You're going to see the same the, the same world. Even if it does change, you're going to see the same world. And that's the issue. There's a fly flying around my room, so sorry if that distracts me. Uh, that was obvious. But anyways, the ending was pretty good. I mean, the, the way they did it was a little dumb. I would have, I mean, anything would have been better than that. They threw him in uh, a grinder. Michael Myers, I mean. They threw Michael Myers in a grinder. And the, the one thing they do is go, he was consumed by evil. And I'm talking about Corey here. Uh, the mother, or the grandmother, says to uh, fuck Audrey, or whatever her name is, um, that the evil consumed Corey. But honestly, I don't know. Like, I feel like if he was arrested and was put in, because, I mean, you know, maybe not, because I guess he had Michael's stare, which is the dumbest thing in the world because at the end of the day Corey in some ways 
if he didn't meet Audrey under the circumstance of, you know, the whole town hating him, he probably would have felt, I mean, he probably already loved her, but he probably would, or they both, would probably have fell in love with each other and ended up being together anyway. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I mean that. They probably would, right? But since he ran, in, not only, you know, somebody, the, the group of kids, you know, basically threw him over a bridge, uh, which I don't understand how the hell he was fine. I, he literally, literally was fine. Like, he didn't get paralyzed or anything. He, he got a couple bruises and stuff like that. But no, no paralyze, no paralyzation, no, you know what I mean? Like, how the fuck you land it? Like, it didn't even look right, you know? And, uh, well... That same friend group ended up hanging out later on and did, didn't just kind of forgot about him, which is weird, by the way. That doesn't really make a lot of sense for the story because there were people being like, we just killed him, blah, 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 right? And no, you didn't. But at the same time, why the hell did they not like – why – like the one that was feeling guilty, for example, like what are you guys telling them to stop, right? You know what I mean? Like, why didn't, why, why, somebody who feels guilty for something will say something. I'm sorry, but if they actually feel guilty and they feel remorse, they will say something. And that's the truth. For example, in the very beginning of the show, um, and if this happened IRL, people would still blame the guy. But if, you know, in the very beginning of the show, he, or movie, my bad, he is a character who is a babysitter and the kid is literally obsessed with Michael Myers. Honestly, blame the mom. You'll see why in a moment here. Give me some time. Um, and uh, basically, the mother was like, yeah, he's been obsessed with Michael Myers, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, the mom the mom could have been a mother, better, better mother. I'm going to be honest with you. And we'll get to it. But basically, um... You know, I'm gonna I'm be honest. Their house probably ain't that safe. I'm just gonna say it. But um, they so the kid grabbed a knife. Which, by the way, um, why the hell did they leave a knife out? I mean, he grabbed it and he was cutting bread. Sure, he could have moved it and put it away or whatever. But he was wondering where the kid went. The kid had disappeared. So he went looking for the kid, right? And and he couldn't find him. And then he goes back downstairs and he realizes the knife is gone. And the first thing he does is, like, you know, look for the kid. And the, then he hears the kid screaming as soon as he finds the knife is gone. And basically, he's running up the stairs, and he knows the knife is on the stairs. Which, by the way, is just weird. Why would the kid do that? That makes no sense. There's no blood on the knife. There's no nothing. We'll get to it. And then he walks into this attic room looking for the kid. Which, by the way, I, I wouldn't... I mean, maybe look in there, but I wouldn't have been like, yo, the kid's in there. That doesn't make a lot of sense, personally. But... Basically, he goes in the attic room, and the kid closes the door behind him and literally keeps it closed. And then the guy, I think he has some other PTSD trauma because he freaks out. He's in a dark room, and he's against a door with a kid who's obsessed with Michael Myers, which Michael Myers didn't exist in this house at all, by the way. And then on top of that, he started trying to kick the door, kick the door down, and the door flew open and... And the kid got hit with the door and fell and spiraled down stairs. Or, like, spiraled down in the middle because it's stairs that go in circles, kind of. Which is stupid, by the way. Dumb as fucking designing in the world. And the reason why I say that is because it's worse and it's dangerous. It's a lot more dangerous. Loki. Actually, probably not that much more dangerous. It could have happened anyway. But, anyways, still, what a dumb kid. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, kid deserved it. The reason why I say that is like, yeah, I mean, the, the guy didn't really need to kick the door, but then again, he's traumatic. I mean, you know, I mean, he didn't know that, I'm sure, you know? He was just trying to kick down the door because he fucking was locked in there, and this kid that is obsessed with Michael Myers locked him in there, which is just weird to do, by the way. And I'm going to be honest, the kid kind of deserves it. And on top of that, the mother was the only person who was not almost willing to forgive Corey. And the only person who wasn't going to forgive Corey because he saw evil in him was the father. The father was going to forgive him. And then he realized that the kid, the Corey, that he knew was not Corey. And it's somebody down a dark path. Which is crazy to me. Um, but overall, sorry for all the spoilers. 
I would have normally said that, you know, said, I mean, I did say spoilers, but I normally would say, hey, yeah, I definitely recommend wa watching this movie. This movie was really good. I really wait. Excuse me. I really wish this fly would stop flying around my room. It's so annoying. But honestly, overall, I would say it was a pretty good ending. I mean, compared to, like, the last movie, uh, it was not that good. Um, but this movie definitely definitely was a good ending towards, uh, you know, the whole franchise. Um, and I think it was definitely better. Um, that's really all i got to say. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It means a lot. Follow me on Twitch. It is in the description of the video. Also, make sure to join my Discord and follow my social medias like TikTok, etc. Thank you for watching, and have a good night. Signing off, October.